everyone this is my second weekly message to you as the Crestwood family done from the comfort of my own home which I'm getting quite used to now working remotely the last two weeks seems very strange but today would have officially been the last day of the spring term so I'm giving some direct advice to you parents students and staff don't do any work over the next two weeks it's really important that you get a break and it's really important that you get time to be together as a family without the pressures of trying to homeschool. After Easter, we've put in place measures which we think will really help you to structure your week. Each week, you'll be asked to meet with certain teachers virtually online that can be accessed via your mobile phone. You will be given new knowledge and new learning and then later in the week, you'll get the opportunity to have this checked back in with a teacher and you can ask any questions that you need. We feel that this will give you the opportunity to carry on learning with subject specialists and therefore you're not going to be hindered when we eventually return to school. Year 11, we've had some really good news that your GCSE results are going to be awarded based on the teacher's judgment of how you were working in the run up to the exams and as if you had been in school up until the GCSEs. We think it's a very fair system and Mr Gibbs will be in touch with you to explain what this means. However, please don't email your teachers to ask what grade you would have got because it is confidential until the results day. I need to thank you all for the input that you've had on Facebook. It's been overwhelming. Miss Gray is trying her best to make sure that everybody has their moment. But what over the last few days, it's become increasingly difficult to manage. Therefore, I'm asking parents and students that if you have any photographs or videos of yourself doing things over each week, that you email these to Mr Wilmore, who every Friday will put together a Friday's best bits. So everybody will have their opportunity to be part of this. And then it leaves the Facebook page each week to be filled with those activities from teachers. It's really important that we reflect where we've been over the last two weeks and how things have become rapidly changing. We've all learned new skills and, and things that perhaps we wouldn't normally have learnt within the classroom setting. My eternal thanks goes to Miss Gray for actually putting together the Shakespeare and the Sherborg best bits as if we were in an assembly. These things just give us a sense of normality, which I feel that we all need at times. I really do miss each and every one of you. It's very hard being a head teacher of a school, as I said last week, with no students in it and with no staff. And over the coming weeks, we will find more ways in which we can keep in contact. All I can say now is that you need to do what the government says. The disease is spreading and it's spreading quickly. And it's important that you keep yourself safe and away from harm. So by staying indoors, you are protecting the NHS and you are saving lives. And whilst I understand how difficult this is to achieve, you must do your bit in ensuring you help the country recover. Have a lovely Easter, eat loads of chocolate and just enjoy yourselves. The, I think there's more challenges to come, but together we will overcome these. Take care.